How do MMA fighters do when they fight Muay Thai champions? Some get absolutely destroyed. When MMA fighters do well, they shock the world. And in rare occasions, they can even land a knockout. So why is it that some MMA fighters get destroyed, while others do well? Fight fans, welcome back to another episode of Lawrence Kenshin Striking Breakdowns. In this episode, we explore three historic MMA versus Muay Thai matches with three epic outcomes. The first match features Lerdzilla, an all-time great legend in Muay Thai. If you don't know who Lerdzilla is, just know that he is one of the most untouchable fighters of all time. Do you know who Lerdzilla is? Not this guy Lerdzilla, who's think? just a fucking assassin. Okay. Lerdzilla is so good that he once won 100 wins without a loss in his career. Originally, Lerdzilla was going to face a Muay Thai champion named Sergio Wilson. However, in the last days of their scheduled fights, Wilson pulled out due to an injury. And an MMA fighter named Jacob Hay Bison stepped up for the challenge. Jacob had 7 wins and 3 losses in MMA, but never had a Muay Thai fight before. On fight night, the fight went exactly as one would expect. The match only lasted 2 rounds and it was Lerdzilla dominating all the way. He barely had his hands up and was throwing anything he wants. From question mark kicks into shifting roundhouses. As long as Lerdzilla threw a strike, it landed. He found that in particular, the opponent was not able to read the left kick. In the first knockdown, he disguised the knockdown blow by faking a push kick into a shift and jab, followed by a head kick. Lerdzilla blinded the opponent with a long framing arm as the opponent panicked, setting up a perfect left head kick. It didn't matter that the opponent had his hands up, the high kick attacked from the inside angle and bypassed it. To finish the fight, Lerdzilla stalked the opponent with his hands down. Then he threw a lead push kick to back the opponent up fully into the ropes. The fight finisher was Lerdzilla's signature question mark kick, which is set up by making the opponent think it's either a push kick or a roundhouse to the body. When the kick came, the opponent overreacted by reaching to defend the middle roundhouse. That is when Lerdzilla changed the trajectory and went to the head. Without a guard, the MMA fighter had no chance of surviving this shot. Although Joe Rogan is a huge fan of Lerdzilla and Muay Thai fights, after seeing this fight, he asked to never see this type of matchup ever again. The next epic MMA vs Muay Thai match, however, did not go as expected and shocked the world. In 2009, Borkow had already won two K1 Max tournaments and was considered the best in the world. When he faced Andre Dida, an MMA fighter with only two kickboxing fights, everyone thought it would be an easy win. But Dida had other plans. Knowing that Muay Thai fighters start slow to test their opponents out, Dida came out swinging for the fences. A nice fake right hand going into the lunging left hook put Borkow down. Dida then spent the rest of the round trying to finish Borkow, and he was so very close to doing it. But doing this to Borkow, he had already shocked the world. But unfortunately for Dida, he was not able to finish Borkow, and when Borkow recovered in round 2, he gave revenge to Dida by dominating him for 3 brutal rounds. This fight is one of the most popular fights of all time, and rightfully so. Dida did the impossible by almost taking out the greatest Muay Thai representative in kickboxing, and Borkow showed absolute resilience in overcoming one of the hardest first rounds in combat sports history. The final epic match was when the famous Korean MMA fighter, Chan Sung Young, ventured into kickboxing to challenge a Muay Thai Stadium champion. At the time of this bout, the Korean Zombie was 10-1 in MMA with no kickboxing experience. No one expected the Zombie to knock his opponent out. His opponent was Pajun So, a great Lumpini Stadium champion who also won two gold medals in Wushu Championships. Pat John Sirk is best known for his incredible aerial sweeps. He also had a great track record against some of the best Muay Thai fighters and kickboxers. In the start of the fight, Pat John Sirk was super confident with a smirk on his face. All of the high kicks were landing and effective. Almost everything Pat John Sirk was throwing was landing, and so he started evading shots with his hands down. 
Pat Johnson would throw multiple head kicks in a row and show disregard for his opponent's offense by continuing to slip punches with his hands down. Eventually, one of Pat Johnson's high kicks found a clean mark. He would bounce off the rope to land a high kick that stumbled the MMA fighter. The Korean zombie acknowledged the shot and then Pat Johnson started to get cocky. And that's what the savvy MMA fighter capitalized on to finish the fight. The Korean zombie would lunge into a sloppy punch to fake another sloppy throwaway right kick. This got Pak Jun Suk to completely lower his guard and attempt to catch the kick. That's when he spun around for a stunning spinning back fist as Pak Jun Suk rushed into counter. This resulted in an epic knockout. But unfortunately, the rules were that the spinning back fist wasn't allowed. Otherwise, this fight would have been officially the greatest victory for an MMA fighter against a Muay Thai champion. So there you have it. This is what happens when MMA fighters face off against Muay Thai champions. What do you think of these three epic matches? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this episode, the best way to support our channel is by watching another one. I'm Lawrence Kenshin and thank you for keeping our channel alive.